Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, four segments uh, A, P, B, P, C, P, and uh, D, P fully confined uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this segment uh, A, P is being represented by X. The segment uh, B, P is uh, 5 uh, units. The segment uh, C, P is uh, 6 units. And finally, the segment uh, D, P is 4 units as well. And now our task is to find the value of X. In other words, we are going to calculate uh, this uh, segment length uh, A, P. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to make our job simple, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have drawn this uh, horizontal uh, line uh, EG that passes through this point uh, P. And likewise, uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, vertical uh, line uh, FH as well that passes through point P as well. And as a result, we got these uh, four rectangles. This uh, is uh, our very first uh, rectangle. This is uh, our another rectangle. And this uh, big uh, rectangle uh, as well. And finally, this uh, is uh, our fourth uh, rectangle. And let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AP is the diagonal for this uh, first uh, rectangle. This uh, BP is the diagonal uh, for this uh, other rectangle. This uh, CP is the diagonal for this uh, third rectangle. And finally, this uh, DP is the diagonal for uh, this uh, rectangle. And here's our next step. I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, AE as uh, lowercase a, this uh, segment uh, ED as uh, lowercase b. Then likewise, uh, this segment FP is going to be lowercase a, and this segment uh, BG is going to be lowercase a. And this is going to be our lowercase b and likewise lowercase b as well. And likewise, I'm going to label uh, this uh, segment uh, AF as uh, lowercase c, this segment uh, BF as uh, lowercase uh, d. Then likewise, uh, this segment is going to be lowercase c, lowercase c, this one is going to be lowercase d and lowercase d as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEP. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, X uh, is the diagonal, whereas uh, these lowercase a and lowercase c are uh, our other two legs. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, A square uh, plus uh, c square is going to be equal to x square and i'm going to label this one uh, as our equation uh, number one and now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, dep and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well and here's once again our pythagorean theorem and in our case, uh, the hypotenuse uh, is 4, whereas our two other legs are B and uh, C. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we are going to have a B square plus uh, C square is going to be equal to 4 square. Or if we simplify, that is going to give us B square plus uh, C square is going to be equal to... 16 and now i'm going to label this one as our equation number two and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle chp and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, six whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase b and lowercase uh, d let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, b square uh, plus uh, d square is going to be equal to 
6 uh, square. Let's simplify. So b square plus uh, d square is going to be equal to 36. And we are going to label this one as our equation number 3. And finally, we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BFP. And let's apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And once again, this is our Pythagorean formula. And in our case, uh, 5 uh, is uh, the diagonal, whereas uh, lowercase a and lowercase d are our two other legs. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, d square is going to be equal to 5 square. Let's simplify. We got a square plus uh, d square equals to 25. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 4. And here we got a system of four equations. Equation 1, equation 2, equation 3, and equation 4. And we are going to solve them uh, for uh, x value and now we are going to subtract uh, equation 2 from this uh, equation 1 and here I have copied down uh, equation 1 and equation 2 as well and now we are going to subtract so I'm going to change uh, these uh, signs and here we can see this uh, c square and negative c square they are gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, a square minus b square turns out to be equal to x square uh, minus uh, 16 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 5 and in this uh, next step we are going to subtract uh, this uh, equation 3 from equation 4 and here are uh, our equation 4 and 3 let's go ahead and subtract so I'm going to change these uh, signs uh, over here and here we can see this uh, d square and negative d square they are gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, a square minus b square is going to be equal to negative 11 and i'm going to name this one as our equation number six so thus we are ended up with this uh, equation five and equation six uh, as well and we are going to compare these two equations equation five and six Let's make an observation. We can see the left hand sides uh, are uh, identical. So therefore we can equate the right hand sides of these equations uh, as well. So therefore if we compare we are going to get uh, x square minus 16 turns out to be equal to negative 11. And here I am going to add uh, 16 on both uh, sides. And here we can see this positive 16 and negative 16 is gone. So therefore x square value turns out to be equal to positive 5. And now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. And here we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore uh, our uh, x value turns out to be square root of 5 uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our uh, x value turns out to be square root of 5 uh, units and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.236 units as well. So therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be equal to square root of 5 uh, units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.